Hi, I'm Michael with Mavi Industrial Tools. Uh, we're going to demonstrate today uh, this machine here, which is a D672, and we're also going to show you some of the components. Uh, but before we do that, let me take a little time on where we're at. We're in Death Valley area, which is Mojave, part of the Mojave Desert. We're north of Los Angeles, California, about uh, two hours or so. We build hydraulic tools. Um, it's used by BLM here in the desert. That's how we started. Uh, the, the, uh, the geology of the area is this uh, dirt and sand, decomposed granite, rock, and caliche. And so it's uh, not a fun area to work in. So that's, we actually got asked by BLM to build some tools and because other tools would not work. So that's how it started. Um, the tools that we build are augers for holes. Uh, we also have a driving system for posts, steel posts, for solar as well as for signs and uh, fences. We also have the helical earth anchor screw driver machines. We're, today we're going to show the helical earth anchor uh, system. Uh, this is a D672 here. It's a, not the smallest machine, but uh, next size up. It's a D means diesel, 672 means six foot from the center of the, uh, the pallet here to the center of the tool. And then 72 means that it will extend 72 inches out. So that means from the center of the truck you can go out approximately 12 foot. That's the maximum. Uh, it's truck mounted, it's self contained. I'll show that. This is a pallet here you can put on with a forklift or with a tractor and a strap. So the truck can be used for multiple things. That's one of the requirements of BLM. Uh, it's uh, made for quick moving from post to post to job to job. There's no trailer involved, no CDL, no special insurance, no dump truck, no special trailer, like for a backhoe uh, or a track machine. We also have track units, which are five axis computer control or manual systems and they're made for the, mainly for the solar industry. Uh, this uh, unit here, which is called Road Worker, comes in 22, 35, and 50 horsepower. And the tool, which we're going to drive the helical earth anchors on today, is uh, 3,000 foot-pounds, uh, or up to 3,500 foot-pounds. Uh, we can also go to a higher level, that's with the utility worker, which is much bigger than this unit, and that can go up to 5,000 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, right now we have uh, units in Indonesia and Malaysia working here, here in California, uh, all throughout the state. Uh, it's used in Indonesia and Malaysia for helical earth anchors for the oil industry, for above ground uh, piping, tie downs for typhoons, and also for guy wires for gas and oil rigs. Um, this unit here will put in and install a 12-foot uh, earth anchor, helical earth anchor or screw into the ground. You can also use a 12-foot post or 12-foot uh, uh, steel and I-beams, that type of thing, with different tools. So you can run multiple tools on this machine. Today we're going to be putting in the helical earth anchor with 3-inch pitch. That means every time it goes and once it bites through the soil and gets a grab, Every rotation will go three inches downward. Um, very powerful, very strong. Let me show you the machine itself now. We'll walk around, a little video, and then we'll do a demonstration on the earth. Today we're going to demonstrate a D672. D means for diesel, and 672. This is called a road worker. Uh, this is the unit. It's all hydraulically done. It's S A E J I C. American fittings, most places around the world will have these kind of fittings and controls. There's the boom, there's the drive, and then that's the helical earth anchor. This is a Yanmar industrial engine. We also have Kubota industrial engines. Uh, they also have the heat cycle for cold weather. You can see this here has a key on it. And if the oil gets low, it shuts off. It's a hydraulic uh, pump. And that's a computer control there, which we're not going to demonstrate today. But that will be a radius uh, boom uh, vertical. Here's the different controls system. Uh, everything here is made so you can uh, 
service in the field very, very, very easily. This here I'll show you is the is an inverter. This is what people really like. It's just a simply an inverter, and it's 1,500 watts. And they love that for uh, battery um, charging in the field, so they can have a DC powered tool. This is the uh, diesel tank, battery, fuse. This is the cooling system for the hydraulics. Very important. Simple diesel tank. As you can see, it's very self-contained. Fits within the the 48 by 48 inches on a pallet. Here's here's the pallet. The view of the pallet on. We recommend the grade eight bolts uh, right down into the frame of the vehicle, and a pickup or a flatbed. The uh, larger engine actually sticks out a little bit beyond that measurement there. As you can still, you see, have plenty of room for. Uh, other uh, toolboxes, etc. So now we're going to go ahead and go out and demonstrate it uh, in the field and decompose granite. It's going to be a little hard to go through the top surface, but we'll get there. And then it'll take a bite and it'll get going. We're inside the shop here. Uh, this is a track unit, unit we're just building, getting ready to build up for a customer in Utah. Uh, this is a, the smallest track machine we make. The red mass there, that's totally aircraft aluminum. That's really nice. The bottom part is all steel. The mast is aircraft aluminum. It works better than steel. Uh, anyhow, we'll get to our demo now. Thank you. Here's the top of the post. You can see how it's so deformed. So it, it was not an easy uh, task to go in. If you did this all the time, you'd have to go to, if you're going to use it for guy wires, you, you'd want to go to Schedule 80. Um, anyhow, there you go. Thank you. 